Level two, fitness instruction. Principles of exercise, fitness and health. Monitoring exercise intensity. By the end of this session, you will be able to describe the benefits and limitations of different methods of monitoring exercise intensity, including rate of perceived exertion, heart rate monitoring and the use of different heart rate zones, and the torque test. For both the safety and the effectiveness of the exercise session, some way of monitoring exercise intensity is necessary. You could use heart rate, RP, or the talk test. They can also help determine the success of the session and provide a benchmark to compare and progress future sessions. Rate of perceived exertion. RPE is a scale of how hard an individual feels they are working when they exercise. The classic board scale given below rates efforts between 6 and 20. An RPE from 6 to 9 would be very light. 10 to 11, light. 12 to 13, moderate. 14 to 16, heavy. And 16 and above, very heavy. You can also see on the column on the left that RPE correlates with heart rate. So if somebody had an RPE scale of 10 to 11, this would correlate to a heart rate between 100 and 110. Although this is not an exact science, the correlation is quite strong. The original Borg scale of 6 to 20 can be confusing. A modified scale of 0 to 10 is often used instead. Heart rate monitoring. Heart rate is generally measured via the pulse in the wrist or the neck, or using a heart rate monitor. To determine exercise intensity, the exercising heart rate is then compared with either its resting state or its maximal ability. Both are measured in beats per minute. Estimating maximum heart rate. The most commonly used equation for estimating maximum heart rate is 220 beats per minute minus age. For example, a 20 year old would have a maximum heart rate of 200. 220 beats minus 20, their age. Remember, this is just an estimation, as the only way of truly determining an, an individual rate max is to exercise to total exhaustion and measure the heart rate at the end. However, this would not be suitable for most clients. Using heart rate zones. Once an individual's heart rate max has been determined, the trainer can decide on what proportion of this represents an effective aerobic training intensity. Research indicates that an exercise intensity equivalent to 60 to 90% of heart rate max is appropriate for most clients. For a 20 year old, this would be a range of 120 beats to 180. The talk test. Though probably not as accurate as the previous methods, the talk test is nevertheless a simple method of gauging intensity that doesn't require any equipment or learning. According to NHS guidelines, the following guidelines can be used to monitor exercise intensity. Breathing lightly and talking easily, but heart rate has increased, would represent light activity. Still talking comfortably, but breathing is deeper and more quickly. Body warming up, that would represent moderate activity. Breathing more deeply and harder, talking with a little more difficulty. That would represent vigorous activity. 
Can you now describe the benefits and limitations of different methods of monitoring exercise and tending, including RPE, heart rate monitoring, and torque test? For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk.